वेलकम बैक यहाँ पे ये बात की जा रही है कि नेपाल के अंदर एक बहुत पुराना मस्जिद है और इस मस्जिद के बारे में बात करेंगे कि आपसे आज काठमांडू सिटी के अंदर इसके बारे में पाकिस्तानी यूट्यूबर भी आए थे उन्होंने भी इसके ऊपर बात की थी और आज हमारे पास फाइनली एक वीडियो आई है जिसके अंदर नेपाल के अंदर जो है वो पुराना मस्जिद दिखाया जा रहा है जो तकरीबन दो साल पुराना है तो चलिए देखते हैं की मुसलमान किस तरीके से नेपाल के अंदर रहते हैं और इनकी मस्जिद कैसे है और ये मस्जिद कितना पुराना है दो साल पुराना है या पांच साल पुराना है तो चलिए रिपोर्ट देखते हैं The masjid, 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 right there. Oh, this is one of the largest mosques over here. Wow, it's really nice. Good morning, everybody from Kathmandu. All these dirty Jamal Mubarak for everybody. It's Friday prayer. As for me, I am heading to the Nepali mosque. It's one of the largest mosques in all of Kathmandu, and they said that it's actually one of the oldest mosques in Kathmandu. So right now, I'm walking through the street. I'm going to find this area. Uh, it was it wasn't too far from where I was, but just remember the one thing I realized is The hardest thing is the taxis are really they're a little pricey. Okay, so you got to be careful with taxis um, They are pricey because they're expensive with gas and uh, They have to pay to purchase the taxi and that's how it works over here So we're heading out to uh, I usually walk everywhere. Uh, I wonder if I can find maybe a random scooter um, and somebody will give me a ride, maybe to the mosque. I might get left. I'm not sure. We'll see. Because uh, everybody's super friendly in uh, Nepal, so I feel like it wouldn't be too hard just to find somebody to give me a ride. But we'll see if I can find somebody. I'm trying to avoid taxis at all costs, just because it's so much cheaper. But we'll see. Uh, let's see if I can get a ride with somebody in a uh, in a scooter. I'm gonna try my best. And not that guy. He was too fast. So as we keep on walking forward. Uh, you can see I'm on the streets um, trying to find the uh, the actual mosque. There's a lot of uh, uh, places that are open for selling like jewelry and selling clothing. So getting to this mosque is going to be a little bit of a mission. It is monsoon season. So when you do come here for monsoon, just remember it suddenly rains and then it suddenly stops. So I don't really know. Basically, I just wash the clouds and that's when I tend to realize when uh, I'm about to go out. So, let me ask this guy, maybe he'll give me a ride. Excuse me, brother. Do you think you can give me a ride to the mosque? The masjid? Masjid down the street? Can you give me a ride? Yeah. Really? Thank you, brother. I appreciate you. See what I'm saying? Everybody's super nice. What's your name? <laughs> My name is Ted. Ted? Yeah. Walid, nice to meet you, brother. <laughs> Yo, I got a ride in uh, the Let's go, the professional driver. <laughs> ah, let's go, baby. Up in Nepal. Do you know where the Nepali mosque is? The masjid? It should be straight ahead. Straight? Yeah, 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 straight. I don't know if the masjid is that way, I think. Maybe it's that way. <laughs> Just getting a random ride in Nepal is amazing. <laughs> this is how you avoid taxis. You just ask nice people in Nepal, and everybody's so nice and friendly. And uh, that's how you get a ride over here. So as we're cruising the streets of Nepal in a, in a, random, in a random ride, but a nice guy. So Tom Tom over here helped me out. So we're just going to the masjid and then gonna go do namaz, inshallah. And then uh, let's see if we can get there if I got the direction. It said it's about 20 minutes, but it's closer. Holy! Wow, this is the streets. <laughs> I don't know how you do it. You're a professional. You're, you're an expert, man. You're an expert. <laughs> Walla, you're an expert, bro. You're an expert. Professional race car driver. Professional. So as we get there, so when you're going through, this is how it is and look at how narrow it gets oh my god oh oh we're we're, we're not gonna make it chat oh my god we're not gonna make it yes we are this man's a legend a legendary rider as we keep on going <laughs> monsoon season is crazy this is what you have to deal with all in monsoon season you think it's it's not easy to go through these streets as a, a driver so you gotta go through it's wet it's slippery and uh i think I'm almost to my stop, I'm not sure. And then uh, we'll see if we can make it in time, hopefully. We still got about like 30 minutes, so that's why I made sure. But look at the traffic. Yo, this is great. We can stop right here, we're good. Thank you, Habibi. Can you stop right here? Right there? Right there? Yep, just right there. Thank you, namaste, brother. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Just a random driver. And everybody was so kind. Thank you, brother. I appreciate you. you, my man. Thank you. Can I can I pay you? Yes. Sir. Yeah. Here, here, here. Here you go. Wait. 
I even paid the man. That's it. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Thank you for the ride. I appreciate it. Namaste. Thank you, brother. So now I gotta find this mosque. So let me see where the masjid is. Let's see where I can find it. I'm gonna find a mosque is one of the hardest things because traffic is insane. If you look at it right here, there it goes right there. Uh, trying to find a mosque is probably one of the hardest things to find sometimes just because of the fact you gotta weave through traffic. And if you guys wonder why I'm looking at basically the roads is because of the fact that it's slippery so you gotta watch out. So right now I think that's the masjid right there but I could be wrong. But uh, we'll see once I get there. I think this is like a little park right here. I don't know much about it but yeah. So trying to get to the masjid would be harder. Let me see where I can go. Is the, uh, brother, is the masjid there? The mosque? The masjid? Masjid? Masjid right there? Thank you. So the masjid's right over there. So we're trying to get there as soon as possible. I think that's it right there. Oh, it's right there. Okay, so that's the mosque. All right, I gotta get through that. I don't know how to get through that. I gotta cross the street. So let me see if I can get to the mosque. I just gotta find a way to cross the street. If you guys noticed, I'm not looking at my camera as much because I'm more worried about falling. Just because, like I said, it's gonna be tough. I don't know how to get through this street. I think that's the masjid right there. So here's the hard part, crossing the street. Welcome to crossing the street. And that's how you professionally cross the street. Now I gotta get to the mosque. First time there. And as we go, this should be it right here. It's actually really big. I was like, I'm trying to see what it's like. This is the mosque right here? Wow, it's actually really nice. Surprisingly in the middle of nowhere, but besides the main road, and then that's it. How you doing? Is this the masjid? Masjid? Assalamu alaikum. Is it okay if I go in? Wa alaikum salam. How are you, brother? Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, is uh, what time is prayer? Is uh, 12:06? Namaz. Namaz is what time? What time? One o'clock. One. Okay. I thought it was 12 o'clock here. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. So this is the uh, largest masjid and it's the oldest masjid here. But as you can see, wow. Super nice to be at the masjid right here. It's huge. It's actually really huge. I'm actually pretty surprised how big it is. As you see people take off their shoes, but you can see just being at the masjid right here, um, inside, this is inside here. And then, oh my God, it's large, it's huge. Wow, look at this. Oh wow, look at this. Beautiful. Duh, this is one of the largest mosques over here. Wow. It's really nice. It's huge. It's actually a large mosque. I think it goes all the way here. So their prayer time is, okay, so Fajr 4.30. So today it's gonna be 1.30. Okay, and then everybody's just out here. I don't know what this is. So I'm guessing this is like a, oh, they have like a waterfall here too? Oh, and they have markets all the way around. Oh, so these are just little offices. So that's crazy. So these are like little offices. They have a little pool and then they have the masjid right here. It's actually really nice. Alhamdulillah, it's really nice. I've never seen, this is actually one of the, they have a little garden in the masjid as well. Wow, look how huge it is. That's what I'm saying. It's actually really nice, that's it. Assalamu alaikum. Oh, oh, we got a driver here. Gotta watch out my way. So I guess everybody parks here and then everybody is the garden here. And then I'm guessing, uh, I'm guessing, there's no shoes allowed here, but I'm guessing this is where everybody goes as the uh, little garden. So it's the first time I've been to this mosque. Wow, it's huge for being in a mosque. I've never seen it so big. And I, they, they literally have like area where, because it does rain, so they cover the top, of course. So it's really, wow. I'm actually really impressed by how beautiful this mosque is. You know, being in these countries, the most beautiful thing you see is a mosque every time. I've never seen a mosque ever like that. I always see the masjid always clean and beautiful and just this is actually beauty. So I have to be back. I thought it was at 12.06 is what my watch said, but it's actually going to be at um, 1.30. So we'll wait for namaz at 1.30. I'll see you guys soon. You guys saw the inside and this is like more in the front where they do, where they have the, uh, the call for prayer. Um, 
it's right here, it's beautiful, as you can see. Chandeliers, everything about it is just beautiful. It's good to be, it's good to be in a beautiful mosque in Nepal. There was a lot of Muslims, I was actually pretty impressed. I didn't know how huge of a population. I have to look in and see how much, I didn't think the whole house would be packed, it's a big mosque, but overall the experience is really nice. Look how beautiful it is, chandeliers. They have obviously everything here, it's beautiful. Even the writing on the glass. It's a, so detailed, amazing. That was, was an interesting day, um, good prayer. And then uh, that was the first time I've actually been to a, um, so sorry, I gotta watch out for all these puddles. First time I've ever been to a mosque in Nepal. It's a great experience. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed a quick little, uh, a quick little education on one of the largest and oldest mosques in, in uh, Nepal. But you know, like I said, Wally's journey. I hope you guys enjoyed. Tomorrow's never promised. You guys have a great day, and uh, Wally's journey is over and out. And I will see you. I'm in the streets in Nepal, and uh, I'll see you on another vlog. That's crazy. All uh, jewelry centers and all bicycles down the street. It's insane. But you guys have a great day. देखिए 2020 के अंदर पाकिस्तानी काफी बड़ी कम्युनिटी आई थी यूट्यूबर की नेपाल के अंदर और सारे नेपाल को कवर किया था और साथ में वो सारी चीजें आप बताइए कि किस तरीके से नेपाल के अंदर क्या है और क्या चीजें इंपॉर्टेंट है ये एक मस्जिद था जो तकरीबन 200 से 300 साल पुराना था नेपाल के अंदर और ये क्यूँके क्यूँकी नेपाल के अंदर काफी ज्यादा मुस्लिम भी रहते तो ये उन लोगों के लिए मस्जिद था जो काफी टाइम से काठमांडू सिटी के अंदर रहते हो काठमांडू सिटी की आपको पता है की नेपाल की एक कैपिटल सिटी है और दूसरी बात यह की वहाँ पे सबसे ज्यादा पॉपुलेशन है तो वहाँ पे मुस्लिम की भी तादाद काफी ज्यादा है जिसकी वजह से लोग नमाज पढ़ने आते हैं और अगर अपनी इबादत करते अभी हमारे पास एक वीडियो थी जिसके अंदर ये बंदा इस मस्जिद को ढूंढने के लिए आया और ये लग नहीं रहा कि भाई ये पाकिस्तानी या कोई और दूसरी कंट्री का है ऐसा लग रहा है कोई ये फॉरेनर है जो आया हुआ मुस्लिम फॉरेनर है और ये विजिट कर रहा है कि बेसिकली हम बात करते हैं नेपाल के अंदर काफी सारे लोग आते हैं जो विजिट करते हैं और रिएक्शन देते हैं अपना की भाई किस तरीके से नेपाल के अंदर मुस्लिम को या दूसरे किसी भी फॉरिनर को किस तरीके से रिस्पेक्ट देते हैं मैंने देखा यार कई सारे ऐसे फॉरिनर आए हैं नेपाल के अंदर जो उन्होंने विजिट किया काफी अच्छा एक्सपीरियंस हासिल किया और देन वो फिर जब वापसी जाते हैं तो वो बोलते हैं यार काश यहीं पे मतलब रहते और यहीं पे हमारा घर होता बट बैक टू तो स्टोरी ये कि यार ये मस्जिद की अगर हम बात करते हैं तो ये तकरीबन 200 से 300 साल पुराना है यानी हम समझ ले कि यार ये तकरीबन कोई ग्रेटर नेपाल के टाइम से बना हुआ नेपाल के अंदर मस्जिद या ग्रेटर नेपाल के टूटे के बाद का मस्जिद है क्योंकि तीन साल भी अगर हम पुराना लेते हैं तो आज है दो हजार तेईस उन्नीस और सत्रह तो यह तकरीबन ग्रेटर नेपाल के टाइम का बना हुआ मस्जिद है और आप सब समझ सकते की ग्रेटर नेपाल के अंदर हो सकता है की उस टाइम के अंदर मुस्लिम का तादाद काफी ज्यादा थी या हो सकती काफी कम और कम होने के बाद भी उन्होंने ये मस्जिद जो है बनाया हो ये मस्जिद उस टाइम से बनता हुआ है और अभी तक जो है ना मस्जिद के अंदर नमाज पढ़ी जाती है काफी लोग पढ़ते हैं नमाज और ये यहाँ पे जुम्मे की नमाज पढ़ते हैं और ये काठमांडू की सिटी का सबसे बड़ा मस्जिद है पूरे नेपाल का सबसे बड़ा मस्जिद और सबसे पुराना मस्जिद है वीडियो अगर इंटरेस्टिंग लगी है तो वीडियो को लाइक लाजमी करे मिलते नेक्स्ट वीडियो में